Hey guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you this makeup look. I really wanted to experiment with these new Urban Decay Liquid Moonstone eyeshadows and I was super nervous about trying it because liquid eyeshadows kind of freaked me out, but these are so good. Now I do have to say I used a glitter glue with them just because I wanted to be on the safe side make sure none of this glitter like fell all over my face. But as I was applying the eyeshadow I found that I had a lot of control over it and there wasn't glitter like falling out everywhere. So I'm kind of obsessed with these. I'm not even gonna lie. Like I think I'm gonna be using them non-stop just because it was so easy to use. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do like it don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I will leave a link right here that you can click. Or if you're on a mobile device I will have one in the description box right at the very top so yeah if you want to see how I got this makeup look then let's just go ahead and get started okay so I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes with my NARS smudge proof eyeshadow primer and then today we're gonna to be going in with this Marc Jacobs palette this is a new palette from them and it's pretty expensive but I really love the shades in it and so far it's been a really great palette but if you guys want a full review just let me know in the comments below but I'm gonna take the lightest vanilla shade and I'm gonna apply that all over my lids as a base then I'm taking the second shade in the palette, which is a nice mid-tone color. I'm going to lightly blend this into the crease, and I am going to build this color up as I go. This look is so easy. We're just doing a couple colors in the crease, and then that pop of glitter all over the lid. Honestly, it's such an easy, fun look. I love it, and I hope you guys love it as well. But like I said, I'm going to go ahead and build this color up into the crease, and make sure I really blend this out nicely. Going in with this shade right here, which is one of my new favorites, I'm going to put this directly into the crease, just a little bit below that first shade that we put on, and also a little bit above the crease. I want my lid to appear larger, so I'm just going to hollow out my socket on my eye. And I love this MAC brush when I want a precise application. It's perfect. It's a short-haired blending brush. It's tightly packed, but it's not too packed to where it can still blend out eyeshadow really nicely. So after I've applied that and I get it how dark that I want, I will go ahead and take the first brush that we use and I will blend out the edges. This eyeshadow is really easy to blend, so that's another reason why I really love it. But I also love the Urban Decay Ultimate Basics palette. I've tried that lately and it is so good, so I can't decide. This one or that one? <laughs> Now we're going to go ahead and take the white shade and put this all over the lid just to have a nice light base for the glitter that we're going to put on. Now this is not a necessary step but I did go ahead and put Too Faced glitter glue on my eyes and this is good for loose glitter and loose pigments and things like that but honestly with this product you do not need it because it stays in place all day without the glitter glue. So I'm going to take the liquid moon dust eyeshadow from Urban Decay and I'm just basically going to paint this all over my lid and cut out that crease. So as you can see this is such a pigmented product. Honestly there's no spaces in between anything. Like, like you know sometimes when you get glitter eyeliners or something, they're just not as intense and you have to go over them a thousand times. That is not this product. One swipe and you've got full glam glitter on your eye. I absolutely love it. Honestly, these are my new favorite thing. And I'm going to keep saying that because I'm just so in love with them. This is going to be so easy for holiday season and doing fun glittery looks. I'm just obsessed with it. Next up, I'm just going to go ahead and take that color we put in the crease and use a pencil brush and I'm going to go right along the edges of that glitter liner and I'm just very lightly blending this color on the edges just to make sure they blend together seamlessly. After that, you can go ahead and take your tape off and you have a nice sharp line. And then I'm using these Vegas Nay Eyelore Grand Glamour Lashes. Then going on to this Bobbi Brown Skin Perfector. I'm just trying this out. I got it as a sample, so I wanted to test it out. I still like my Canon Austin one better, but you know. 
And then I'm using the Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation in 2.4. I first use it with a brush and I get a light layer all over my face. And then I like to just go in with my Beauty Blender and touch up the redness on my cheeks just a little bit so it has more of a full coverage finish. This is definitely a nice buildable foundation. It has a natural skin effect but it does cover quite a bit. So I just like to go with the brush and then with the Beauty Blender to build it up because I feel like that looks the most natural and I really enjoy it. And with my newest favorite concealer is the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour Concealer. I love this stuff, you guys. It is just such a great concealer. I love using it because it looks like skin and it blends so well and it never creases. I'm just honestly, I cannot say enough good things about it. So, I'm going to blend this out underneath my eyes and the center of my face. Then I'm going in with my Flower Beauty Translucent Powder. You guys know I love this. It's honestly my favorite translucent powder at the moment. It's just so good. And you can get it from Walmart. And then we're going to go ahead and move on to brows. And I've been using this product so much just because I love it. This is the Benefit Cabral. And it is so easy to work with. I just love it. I love pomades like this because I feel like it doesn't take much time at all to fill in my brows. This color is perfect. I will leave the color down below, but sometimes I'll use this pomade. Sometimes I'll just go ahead and use the Gimme Brow because the Gimme Brow has little fibers in it as well. So even on like a natural day, so even when I'm doing a so even when I'm doing a natural look for the day, or if I just want to fill in my brows because you guys know I have a sparse brow right now, I'll just use the Gimme Brow and then like go to the gym or run errands. After I fill them in, I like to go ahead and conceal, and I use the little brush that comes with the Cabral just to get a nice, precise line and really sharpen them out. And then I'm going to use the 3D Brow Tones by Benefit, which is so nice because it adds like little highlights to your brows, and I like it because it lightens up my brows and helps them match my hair just a little bit more and make them look more natural. Then we're going to go ahead and dust away our baking, and then we're moving on to one of my favorite parts, which is bronzer. <laughs> I love this bronzer so much. It's from Neutrogena. It's in the shade 30 Sunkissed, and it's just such a beautiful, warm, sunkissed color. I'm using a Tom Ford bronzer brush. Blush, really. I'm using a Tom Ford bronzer brush to blend this out all over my skin and you can just see right there how bronze this bronzer is. It's just amazing. So I'm also going to apply it to my cheeks and down my neck as well just to give some more color to those areas. Next up, I'm taking this Physicians Formula Bronzer and I'm going to contour with it. I literally tap my brush in there twice, just a tiny bit, and this is how pigmented this thing is. It is so pigmented, but it blends out really well, and I love it. It really chisels those cheekbones and makes them pop, so highly recommend this, you guys. My favorite contour powders of the moment. Then I'm taking this Fiona Styles blush, and I'm going to apply it with an e.l.f. blush brush, and I'm just lightly dusting this color on my cheeks. I don't want to take away from the eyes, but I do want a little bit of color, so I applied that to my cheeks and then blended it out with a dual fiber brush just to diffuse it. Then for highlight, I'm taking this Wet n Wild Boozy Brunch Highlighter, and hello! This is amazing. You guys know I love it. A lot of these products were mentioned in my August favorites, so here you go. You're seeing them in action. Um, but I absolutely love this highlighter. I think it's the best highlighter from the drugstore. Next up, I'm going to take that highlighter and I'm also going to put this underneath my brow just to highlight that area and lift it up a little bit more. Next, I'm taking my NARS eyeliner in Via Veneto. You guys know I love this. It's been my holy grail product for the longest time now. But if you want a more affordable option, you can try the NYC Waterproof Smooth Eyeliner. It is amazing. So after I've done that, 
I'm going to take that shade that we used in the middle of our crease and put that on the outer half of my lower lash line with a pencil brush. Then I'm going to take the liquid eyeshadow and I'm going to put this in the beginning half of my eye and around my tear duct area just to make this pop. You can do as little as you want, as much as you want. I honestly just love the extra pop that it adds to the look. Then I'm going to put mascara on my lower lashes. And for lips, we're lining our lips with this Palladio Lip Liner in Salmon. Then we're also going to take their Velvet Matte Cream Lipstick in Raw Silk and put this on top of our lips. I love these, by the way. I think they're awesome. They feel so good on the lips. And then that is it for this makeup look. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.